Hello, I'm Leomaris Reyes, Microsoft MVP for four years in a row, and today I want to give you the welcome to the .NET MAUI challenges. But um, what's that? How does it work? These are different types of challenges in which we will be exploring about .NET MAUI topics. This will be launching periodically, and the most important goal of that is that you will be able to continue practice and continue growing up in your .NET MAUI career. So join with us and let's continue learning about .NET MAUI. But what about the challenge structure? Each one of the challenge has exactly the same structure. This one is composed by three important points that you have to keep in mind. The first one is the statement of the challenge. You will always see an image which will be giving you a description of what the challenge expects from you. And also, you will be able to see three possible options about your challenge, but you only have to select one. The second point is the solution. In each challenge, you will have the option that solves this one. It will be hidden so that I recommend you first to analyze it and then click it to see the current answer with its respective explanation. And finally, the static resource. Once you see the current answer, each challenge solution will be having an static resource so you can delve into it and continue studying about this topic. The challenge for today is about Teledix Barcode for the Net Maui, which is a control that allows you both generate and show different type of barcode. So that's why today we will be learning about the different type of barcode that we have available. As you can see here, we have a portion of code which indicates you a specific barcode. So we have three different options and please pay attention to each one of them because we have to identify what is the right answer that corresponds to this code that you can see in the screen. So take your time, analyze it and see you in the next session with the solution. Do you already have the answer? The right one is the option B, but let's explore each one of them. The first one is a 2D barcode, but this is specifically a QR code, and that's why it's incorrect. The letter B is the right one, because here you can see a barcode type that corresponds to the code 39 barcode type. But let's continue with the letter C. This is other 2D barcode type, but in this case, it's a data matrix code, and that's why it is incorrect. Do you want to continue studying about this amazing console? Yes, I know. And that's why I'm leaving you different static resources that will allow you to continue growing up in this control. So let's explore each one of them. The first one is the Netmobile Barcode Overview. Here you can see a description about that, a sample image, and the key feature. We have different type of two interest topic, for example, value and symbology, sciences mode, and so on. So please read each one of these topic. And finally, let's continue with the value and symbology in the mobile barcode. You have a description here. And finally, each one of the most common symbology about barcode. So this will allow you to identify a specifically barcode type. So continue reading and studying. I hope you like it and see you in the next of the Mau challenge.